We're right there. We still got some strides and things to go. <laughs> you could get scared. My guy, Nick Koval. Mic check. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Can I get mac and cheese? That way. Can I get mac and cheese? That way. 
up, Ooh, that way, that way, huh? down, that way, up, down, down, up, that way, all right, that way, all right, yeah, that way. do that, that way, that way, excuse me, y'all want to eat here or take it back to the room? Here, here, can we, uh -huh. like can we take it to the room, please? How far is the hotel? Exactly, you take it to the room. Yo, y'all want to eat here or take it to the room? Over up. Hey, you probably definitely got him for your five, too. Got him. Eight kind nuggets, right? No, or 12. 12. Your sauces? No, I don't know. No sauces? Nah. What do you want for sauce? Chick fil A, barbecue? Chick fil A, Chick fil A. Yes, sir. So, how important is this game today? Can I see that? Yeah. Course. Yeah, so how important is this game today? Um, I think it's a big test for us to see kind of where we match up against the, the top competition in the league. Um, obviously, we all want to win. Obviously, there's a lot of hype around it, but I mean, it's just another game in the schedule. Uh, it'd be nice to win this one, uh, but I mean, it's, it's really a measuring stick in a, in a game that's going to prepare us for later on down the line at Peach Jam. This is a Peach Jam type of game. This is going to take forever. Why? Like, what is going on, bro? You know what's going on. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Ten. I won. Five years later. Say something. Say something. First of all, don't even, don't even listen to me. He just said take off is the best. Don't even listen, don't listen to me goes to make this argument. So stop. He might have been. He might have been. He might have been the best one. <laughs> he might have been the best one. He is no longer because he is no longer here. <laughs> no, he's double. Oh, my fault. He's he said, oh, my fault. Hold on. <laughs> oh. That was ass. So yeah, real rap right, though. Like, like, how do you really play that game? I'm dead serious. I all just decide, bro. Because like, I see y'all doing it, join, and following, but it's like, how do y'all play it? Like, and they be doing this shit and all that. The, the, the chunky jaws and all that. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> bro, you're a cheat. Are you going to do this anyway? So you don't want to go with his game. So you go with his hand, it's bad. If you go with this hand three times in a row, you can't get oh. me. Oh. So you take the elbows. <laughs> More belly. Machiavelli. That's what you're going to call you. You didn't go down. What? Yeah. That was right here. You didn't go down. Go right too close. Go again. Go again. Go again. Go again. Machiavelli. Game sign. Yes. Oh, oh, no, he's just too low. He's just too low. Too low. Too low. Yeah. So it's 10 to 12. Where did you, where did you go? Oh, well, did you go? Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, bro, like, you gotta remember, bro, for the rest of your career, don't get injured and do only the colors from one side. It's the dumbest thing you can do, bro. Because you trip in the one side, the other side don't get no work. So when you get injured, the other side, back to square one. How long have you been around the team, basketball-wise, like team final? Uh, team final. This is my seventh or eighth year now with the program. Uh, with this group specifically, uh, I've been with most of them since about seventh, seventh or in the eighth grade. Uh, with majority, majority of the guys on the team now. <laughs> I think a lot of people would say, you know, there's not a at the top of the class, it's not like star power, like like some of the classes before. Like there's not a there's not a Jalen Dern or a Cam Reddish in this class um, that that kind of sticks out as far as you know from top to bottom. But from top to bottom, uh, talent wise, I think there's a lot of really good basketball players, a lot of really skilled guys, tough guys that kind of mesh well together and make a lot of really good teams in this 2024 class. Uh, do you think the K 
kids today have it easier than what it ha- was back then? Um, like access to like coaches and stuff. I wouldn't say it's easier. Um, you know, with with every everything, they they have access to more resources. But then in turn, they have a lot more pressure on them. I feel like now at at earlier ages because of. You know, social media. Yeah, social media gives them a platform, gives them access to, to coaches and gives coaches access to see them. But it also puts a puts a magnifying glass on these kids and, and ultimately doesn't allow them to just be kids sometimes. You know, they gotta they gotta watch what they're doing, they gotta watch who know who's watching them, watch what they're putting out and, and then, you know, they see things about what people are saying about them, which puts you know, puts a certain level of expectation and pressure on these kids to not just play freely and play the game that they love. So, you know, in some regards, yeah, they have it easier because they have a lot more resources. But in other regards, you know, it's tougher on them because there's there's a lot of pressure on them. At a young age, you know, having done this, you tell them certain things and they're like looking at you crazy. Like, what, what do you mean? I, I just finished the game with 20 and 12 rebounds. What do you mean I'm not going hard enough? Not knowing that, like, yeah, you got that because you're just, you're so special. You're su- you're such a talent, but you could be doing so much more and that we're trying to prepare them for the next level. And it's cool when they finally realize like, what you're talking about or, or they go hard that one time and see the success and then fall in love and, and get addicted to, to working like that. And, 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 you know, that's pretty cool with those guys. They, they put so much into this, and then when they finally see the success, it's like it's almost like a drug. You get addicted to that success. You get addicted to working that hard, and that's the, that's the cool part with, with those guys. Yo, uh, y'all should each have a, a bag to take a game-winning performance, you know what I mean? And Lonnie Walker is a kid that I, I've been very close to and I've been through a lot with him and his family. And for me to see Lonnie on the floor when, you know, when regulation ended and they won by three and he just looked up at the sky and just started smiling. Guys, that was a moment for me. You know what I'm saying? And these are the type of moments why you guys play in the EYBL. These are the type of moments that, that build who you are as a player. It, these are the moments that you guys create your own story like Lonnie Walker did. You know what I mean? And, you know, I've seen that smile. I've seen that a thousand times. I've seen it from eighth, from eighth grade till 11th grade till his time in Miami till the time he was at San, San Antonio and now, you know, to see him being embraced by LeBron James and Anthony Davis, those are moments. These are your moments. You know, these guys, I don't care what their names are, but they're ranked a little bit ahead of us in every single position. Just a little bit. So what do you do with your moment? Oh, you know, Tahan might be a little ranked over you. Elliot might be ranked a little ahead of you. You know, whoever is in this room, like, these are the moments that create your stories just like Lonnie did the other night. So, you know, let's not just be front runners, let's beat the guys at the top of our division, all right? And I know Nate has a good scout. He's been looking at this all afternoon, so, you know, let's lock in right now because this is why we play in the EYBL and this is why we play for Team Finals. Every other game, right? We play all day in basketball. No matter we play the best team, the worst team, we play for that name across the chest. We play for our brothers, right? Highs and lows, stay together. Fight, fight, fight. From the tip to the last bucket. Fight, fight, fight. Every possession. You got to sprint back, keep the motherfuckers out of transition, and guard. Guard, 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 all right? Yo, yes, bring it down. Yes, Yo, bring that fucking in. Put your yeah, balls in this yeah, fucking yeah. bucket, man. Let's go. Final three, final six, one, two, three. Final four, six, man. Let's go. Jump for
follow me. When it ain't going your way, y'all stuck together. We didn't fold. We made some bad plays. We made some good plays. But we stuck together. When you stick together, what we've been saying, good things happen, right? That's what happened. Y'all made big play after big play. Still got little things we need to fix. But, yo, we had good games for everybody. I'm going to start. Oh, I'll start. Uh, Tom Silver. Class of 2024. Uh, I attend Archbishop Bryan High School and I play for T Farm. Uh, my name is Julia Pathea from Philadelphia, PA. Uh, and I attend Archbishop Wood High School. My name is Rob Wright the third from Wilmington, Delaware. I'm six foot. And I attend Mount Ritter Academy. Um, also, and also six feet I'm from Trenton, New Jersey. So shout out six one. Stop playing. How did you all meet each other? Yes. Oh, uh, we all what? met each other during like through basketball. For we all played each other. I well, the play first time I played, play Jaleel, I played him at uh, oh, freshman year. We both was playing like JV and varsity, and he got injured like the third play of the game. But I, <laughs> I used to not like him. Like I thought like he was like a weirdo. Yeah. Oh, play, I was playing Rob since like fourth grade. Yeah, Thomas played with Jersey Club City. 
I literally met yeah. Thomas through and they used to just Bro, I met, yeah, I met Joe through Final. Well, he texted me after we busted. After we <laughs> beat them. No, I did not. I, yes, you did. I did text you after that game. After the... So, the the semifinals, John? They get the palestra? Yes. No, I did not. Look at that. That's not. <laughs> so, all right. All right. Bro, bro, move, bro, move, bro. Let me show the camera. You were my, yeah. you were my future teammate, bro. I had to be Hold nice. On. Where is John at? Where is John at? Oh, my God, bro. Do you see the date of that? Damn. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Look, this time me and Jalil. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, now I'm just gonna yeah. look like a, a eater, bro. What is Jordan Poole doing? <laughs> Draymond just hit a three. No way. What makes you guys different than most uh, other players in your class? Mm, yeah. Oh, we not as Hollywood. Like we more. Yeah. People think coming up to us we gonna be mean and all that, but for real we really just regular people. And I say like we all like underrated oh. and like. We was doubted a lot, like our whole life. So we yeah, never was really, like even middle school and all that. We never was really popular, or the bull on our team. So now it's just like the world's reverse. Uh, my goals for the future is to have a good college career, then possibly playing the NBA. And I just want to have an impact of like showing like the underrated guards, like that you can make it and you can do whatever you want to do in life. So it's probably a dream. Uh. I definitely say the same thing. Have a good college career, and maybe go to pros or like the the most places people want to go to is the NBA. And <clears throat> my impact, I really wanted to like like if you're from like a bad part of a city or something, then you can really make it out if you really put your mind to it. I can't. I can't. I can't. Good. All right. So basically, yeah. like. Bro, he's laughing for Thomas. Right here, bro. Uh, I would say like he trying like cool, show bro. all the fat people that like you, <laughs> you could get what skinny. Did, what did he say? <laughs> <laughs> rare rare. Yeah, what's that? Uh, it stands for rare. It's just yeah. saying that we all like rare talent and like them rare breeds. Mm. Yeah, really. rare breeds. We really all the our style is rare. Okay. That's different, man. Yeah. Who do you guys model y'all game after? You first, Thomas. Thomas. Um, I'll say like a mixture of Nikola Jokic and uh, Juwan B. For me, but mo like mostly on the Jokic side because like I feel like guys passing. Uh, I feel like me probably say closer to like Jordan Poole, towards the, like handling the ball most of the time. I feel like Curry comes to, like my shooting up capability, capability, and uh, I probably say D book because uh. I can make tough shots as well. Uh, me, I would say like, like Dame a little bit. Like when I do like some like shots, like creating shots. Then like my IQ, like CP3. Then like my finishing ability and stuff. Probably like Shrew Cooper.
Yo, yo, the vid is crazy. Look at the vid, though. He's cooking it. Pull up, pull the door. Pull up, pull the door. Y'all like this door, yo. Can't say that. Door to door service right here. Okay. Great win today. 2-0. Back at it tomorrow. 3-0. We 3-0, bro. just the whole clip. <laughs> I see it with a J. You ain't just here. Oh. 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 Yo, he light skinned. Yo. <laughs> Yo, what y'all doing? I tried stretching these jokes. Oh. Oh. Yo. 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 What y'all doing? Yo, what you doing, bro? Yo. Oh. Oh. What was he doing, Kai? Oh, he's straddling me, bro. And my nipples hurt. Yo. You gonna poke it, too. I'm supposed to get out. I got to get out. Wait, chill. Hey, 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 Six foot, bro. <laughs> Bell, what's that? One thing you Hold up, hold up. Ha. Yo, dude, you good, bro? <laughs> you said walking with you? I'm gonna get him again. I didn't even mean to do that. I, I, I yeah, very much apologize. He started start copping the plea though. No, <laughs> bro, you so heard what I said after I. I Shout out overtime, shout out Slam High School.
wall, all alone stops in the shot. Got Nick Koval, Team Finals Finest, up and coming. We got James, huh. there, Mr. the baby. The sun, the sun's dismissed Monty Williams. Man, it definitely is. Oh, sun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you put it on. Look off, look off. You see, look off. I, I know you see, I know you see, I look off. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, Fredo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Move. Get away from the red. Oh, he's on the love ball. Yeah, you suck. You didn't know they got his desserts. Go, 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 Top golfer in the country. Yo, you might want to watch. Go ahead, Gary. Bro, look, TV. Woo! He threw the ball. Best top golfer out here. He literally threw the ball. Two stars. Feel me? Did you hear? Did you or did you not just see that? Wait on play. Bro, you're such, you're such a DJ Khaled, bro. Best, best out here. My son got second. Damn it. <laughs> 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 
Wait, we got the car? Is that car? No. You guys have taken care of business. Y'all come to practice. Y'all pay attention to the game plan. Y'all go out there, y'all play together. The last three games, you know, I thought we've really been defending really well, right? And, and, and I said this to the guys in the car uh, who was with us a little earlier. Our goal, remember last session, I said, you know, we're doing really well offensively. We've been in the top <coughs> five. Our goal was to drop into the top 10 defensively too, right? Right now we're at number 11. So like, I mean, that, that's, we're right there. We still got some strides and things to go to be where we want to be, but y'all have done a great job. And Dude, I want to let y'all know. You say points allowed number 11? Yes. Uh, six now. Oh, it is six. Yes, we're six. Yeah. 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 So yo, that's, that's right around where we need to be and, and to keep it there, right? So that's not, you know. The, the mentality y'all have, have brought to each and every game is what we need to continue to carry on game in, game out, moving forward, okay? Like, and, and really, I mean, fellas, it's about y'all. It's not about us. Like, we give y'all a blueprint, we give y'all a game plan, but like now it's about y'all policing yourselves too, holding ourselves accountable to what we're doing, all right? I say that, and I say that, you know, Majority of the credit of this goes to you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm telling y'all this at this moment because I'm not gonna be there tomorrow during the game. All right. Um, I had some stuff playing with my family, and the only time I could fly out of there to meet them would be early, early, early tomorrow morning. All right. But I want y'all to know it's not about me. It's never been about me. You know, these guys, the coaches do just as much work as me. You know, I'm just a motherfucker that's standing up during the games, right? They put in the time, they give up. Y'all, I mean, y'all know, y'all hear them on the bench. They talk to y'all in practice. They, this is a team effort. Now, tomorrow, let's not have a letdown, okay? Let's finish this weekend off right. So it's up to y'all to police yourselves, make sure they're gonna be fucking ready, right? to coach you guys and hold y'all to the same standards that, that, that I do, because I'm just a reflection of them. They are for reflection of me, and us as coaches are a reflection of you guys, right? We get judged based on you guys, so y'all have made us look fucking great. Now, now it's continuing to do that, and that starts tomorrow, all right? So let's make sure we go, go to bed tonight, have a good night's nice rest, and let's, let's, let's finish this weekend off right. All right? Peace to you. Get some sleep and go pack. I already packed. You're lying. That's what I was doing in there. Yo, let's handle business tomorrow, all right? Final one, three, family on six. One, two, three. Final. Final. Four, five, six. Family. Close. My name is Ma Noel. I'm in the class of 2024. What was your like upbringing for like basketball? Like, how did you get to where you are now? Uh, actually, how it all started was one day I was at the park where I grew up at Rose Playground in West Philly, and and I was outside playing, just playing a game that I loved. I didn't really know I loved it, but I just like playing it, and uh. The hurricane coach, they had like a summer camp, and I was out there and they needed some more players. So I hopped on a court 
and I was doing pretty good. He was like, man, I gotta get your info. And then it started from there, I started playing with the Hurricanes. And then from everybody, from us like traveling and stuff and being worldwide, everybody just started noticing and recognizing. It's, it's always struggles in the game. I mean, because you ain't gonna come out being the best every time. It was definitely a process of getting to the talent, to being the talent I am now. I mean, um, just working at it every day, 6 a.m. Uh, sometimes missing shots, sometimes you're having confidence problems when you know, you're seeing other kids just like producing and stuff and make you want to be like them. And then sometimes if you can't, if you're not that at the moment, it might mess with your head. So I feel like me personally, I definitely had some confidence problems. And um, yeah, probably the majority is just confident. So what is your view plan of like your future? Like what do you want to do? Like why are you doing basketball? Like, my goal is to get to the NBA, but I know that's everybody's goal. So for real, my goal is to succeed in the NBA and be in there for multiple years and just leave and leave a remark. So hopefully if I make it that far, um, I, I could be able to leave a remark on the young kids and like just be an example, like an leader, like Brian, like, like that's what I, that's the, that's the mark I want to leave in my life. How was it growing up in food? Did you grow up in food? Yeah. 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 Growing up in Philly, I mean, it could have been worse. I'm not gonna say, I mean, I'm not gonna tell you the trench story and tell you everything was bad, but uh, it could have been worse. I feel like I could have definitely took a wrong route in my path. Like I could have took the wrong route and just been like a couple people that I know, but I didn't. I feel like I made some right decisions. I had some good guidance, some good guidance, and um, I made the right choice. I mean, it's definitely dangerous out there, and you just gotta pick the right crowd. Pick the right crowd that want positivity and you know, like not negativity. What would you say for like upcoming point guards in Philly to like look out for? Um, if you know me, you know I'm known for putting in work. So I just keep putting in work every day. Like sometimes you're gonna be able, you're gonna have to sacrifice like what you want and what you like when you want to go outside and stuff like that. The work, cause you know I me mean? work, work now, laugh later. You know I me mean? just be able to enjoy yourself later, cause yeah, all it is going uh, add up the minutes. Like it's like putting money in the bank, put money in the bank every day. So one day you could be able to spend it up, and that's when you get to the league. So just putting in that work every day. Y'all see when we play our style of basketball, you know what? Right, but we gotta make sure that we play our style of basketball. Don't get caught up in the names. Don't get caught up in the one-on-one battle. Play our game, be patient. All right, we're gonna play fast and transition. All right, let's get it out. You know, we should be able to get it out. One, two dribbles, hit the wings, run the floor. All right, and have fun. All right, most importantly, have fun. All right, Nate wouldn't have took this trip if he didn't believe in this group that's in here. All right, if he thought that he needed to micromanage and do all this, he wouldn't. He felt real comfortable leaving. Everyone knew this was gonna be our quote unquote toughest trip. All right, he had no problem doing it because he believes in these guys. You know, so let's make sure that we stay locked in, believe in ourselves. You know, most importantly, let's have fun with this. Right, let's have fun. Let's get a win and let's get to the airport. Right? Coach Nate's not here. Coach Kyle's not here. Right? It's kind of like y'all on y'all own. Right? So now y'all gotta fucking be mature. Gotta be mature. Right? Gotta stick with each other. Gotta play together. Play fucking hard. Play tough. All right? This is gonna be a game where as though we can't let not one fucking possession go in their favor. Everything has to be a huddle. Everything has to be fucking tight. All right? Defensive. Smart. Good fucking plays. Got it? All right? Yo, let's go get this fucking win. All right? Let's get this yeah, fucking win. Let's get this 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 fucking win.
Memphis next week. That's two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. Oh, boy, had to have him. Thank you, Bessel. Thank you, Bessel. Like you, Bessel. Like you, Bessel. Like Okay, Freda. Do the talk, do the talk, do the talk. No, don't put it in. Lead that shit up. <laughs> I'm saying he want he want another light skin mix. He want another light skin mix. Look at him. Look at him. Who does this, bro? He knows he wants the I'm saying. I'm saying. Why he acting like that? Yeah, we up. No, she didn't. You were late. Yeah, we up. Damn. Oh, you went so late. Go ahead. Yeah.